what's going on guys welcome back to clash of the dark today we're checking out one of my favorite town hall 11 attack strategies the drag bat one of the most widely used town hall 11 attacks and with good reason it is crazy powerful so we're gonna go check out a couple replays and then we're gonna go break down a couple bases we're gonna plan out some attacks and we're gonna hit them live so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and most of these attacks are gonna be done against multi infernos today so if you want to see how to do this attack against single infernos i will put a link right up there so you can click on that link and go get this attack strategy modified for single infernos as well as a few other that will be able to bring down those single infernal bases easy so let's go get right into action here all right guys this very first one is the most simple approach to the drag bat attack as we go through the other attacks we're going to see some more advanced scenarios especially the last one that one's going to have a lot of moving parts and is going to be very complicated and hopefully we can bring that down for the live attack so when we go to do a drag bat attack, one of the first things we look at is the sweeper positions and we want to, whenever possible, avoid fighting a sweeper with the dragon. So there's no sweepers covering this whole nine o'clock peninsula. So he's going to send in the queen on one side with an ice golem to take out a reachable air defense from the outside and a couple archer towers. He's going to have the king sweep the other side and that will form the funnel for the dragons. Then since he's starting into an air defense, he will start a hound in front of the dragons and then he can drive them in. He has one rage and the ward ability to get as much value out of these dragons as possible then he's going to need to deal with the rest of the base here with the bats so we want to look at the splash damage around the base here and make sure we have a plan for all of it so as you can see here on the bottom side we have a wizard tower that is close to the outside so we could drop an ice golem on that but the ice golem will run off to the mortar down here at five o'clock so instead he's going to send in the stone slammer to go take out that wizard tower right there then he'll have balloons coming in the top side we'll see them coming in here in just a second to deal with the very top wizard tower and then he can sweep the bats on basically starting onto the multi inferno and he'll have four freezes to carry them through the base so the slammer gonna take the multi inferno he drops the bats freezes up the multi inferno the other wizard tower there is being tanked by that dragon so if that dragon lose tanking he needs to freeze it so it did lose it did lose tanking there so he has to freeze it there's the freeze probably should have caught the expo into that as well but he does have a pretty big bat swarm there and he's gonna be able to take it down so the bats now can spread around the base there and they can go take out any remaining splash damage look at the balloons up at the top side here did not get this one so he's gonna have to freeze it doesn't really matter the level of the wizard towers guys they will still take out your bats very very quickly and they will very likely one shot them unless they're extremely low level wizard towers but even that one would have one shot those bats and luckily the bats survive he has a couple balloons there they can drop in for cleanup that he didn't use and a couple minions always bring a couple minions to follow by and uh, make sure you don't time fail so he's got the looks like blues that came out of his stone slammer they're helping on cleanup and he has more than enough here to finish it out so nice attack here by cam was a little bit close there only had one dragon survived so a lot of damage in the middle there was uh beating down on those dragons and the warden ability was not able to uh, protect the dragons from the eagle strikes that were coming down so definitely some room for improvement but overall solid attack and nice for a cookie cutter drag bat all right guys check out this next one this one is pretty ballsy here going in with no rages for the dragons he has eight bat spells and only four freezes to protect them if i'm bringing that many bat spells i want some good protection for them and i want extra freezes as an insurance plan to make sure that i can keep them alive so he's going out with the king and the queen on one side to funnel obviously he's making a 10 30 entry the king is a pull in the cc and he's going to be able to draw that up poison it and take it out with the queen I personally, if this was a fresh hit, I would say do not send that king inside of that CC range. If it is a hound and then the queen gets locked on the hound, she would be popping it right here. So luckily it's a witch and a baby dragon and she's able to mow that down no problem and continue on for a little bit more value. The e drag getting some good value out on the far side there, clearing up the whole area. Down comes the stone slammer. Down comes a dragon off to the side there first to go and take out this wizard tower and try to get all the dragons recentered. But unfortunately he has a bunch of Tessa starting to pop there next to the eagle artillery right under it there in the channel and that's going to throw off the path thing just a little bit of the dragons hitting that tornado trap and now pause it right here for one second because he's going to be able to deal with this air defense or excuse me, this uh wizard tower and this wizard tower and there's a hound coming out to do some tanking for the dragons as they approach these air defenses but is there enough freezes to move these bats through the base he's gonna have to go through this inferno this wizard tower and this inferno i would say you would need at least five freezes to move through that to be safe and that's what i would bring but he only brought four let's see how he handles it so let's see how much punch eight bat spells have 
as they drive through the base here. So the Hound finally pops. The dragons are pushing through. They don't have any spell support. He finally pops that warden ability, catching both groups, which is really nice. All the wizard towers that he planned to deal with are dealt with, and he's starting to move through. So freezes the first inferno. Eight bat spells is a lot of firepower. That's going to make a massive swarm, and those bats are going to start moving very, very quickly through the base. So two freezes gets him through the first one. He's going to have a freeze going into the wizard tower. Make sure he doesn't mess up the timing on this one. There it goes. Passing away first, then it goes in. Now he's getting hit by the inferno. So he has one last freeze that's going to go into the inferno. Does he have enough punch to make it through? Does unfreeze just a little bit early, but he had enough bats to make it through it and the bats can continue on. So it was risky, guys. I do not recommend that. I would say whenever possible, protect the bats that you already have. Do not take unnecessary risks. Eight bat spells is a lot. Seven is a lot. You can get through with five on a lot of drag bats and still be fine. But doing with that many, I'd rather just have a few less and make sure that they are protected and do not take unnecessary risks. So Darth Hopper did take the risk. Luckily, it paid off for him. And now we're going to head over to the live attacks because I've got a couple I'm going to plan out here. And then we're going to hit them and see if we can bring down some bases. So make sure you uh, enjoy. All right, guys, we're ready to do this. So drag bat. I want to charge the splash damage and I want to sweep my bats through the area that has the least splash damage to start with and then they can move to areas that have more but I want to at least get the value of the areas that have less. So we're going to go charging right into this four, no, five o'clock area right here oh. and uh, we're going to we're going to wrap the heroes around that first to get the dragons to insert directly into the middle of the base here so we're going to start my king to go right here, to go wrap around this corner, the queen will follow. I'm gonna put an E-drag to clear this trash. It'll step up into the storage, get some chains into the base here. And then the king and the queen should follow along this edge here and potentially reach as far as this air defense, maybe further, not 100% sure. If they make it all the way to there, that'd be incredible, but I'm not gonna count on it. And then the dragons will insert directly onto this inferno, go to the eagle very quickly, deal to CC and then they will move into the other inferno maybe spread a little bit but the sweeper should be holding them back towards this inferno we'll sweep the bats through this side of the base here and we'll have an ice golem to go in and deal with this uh one of these wizard towers will freeze up the other one and then we can freeze up expos wizard towers all together should be able to move the bats through fairly smoothly and we should have the dragons tanking a couple of these expos as well so should be good let's go see if we make it happen we're going live <coughs> Excuse me. In three, two, one. Let's go. So, we will start. I'm going to put a Coco Loom down for the E Drag first. And we'll put the King, put the E Drag, put the Queen here. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, cough today. All right, E Drag, do some work. Nice chains off that storage, so should be able to get some good value in there. All right, good, good, good. Liking it so far. As soon as that air defense is down, we're gonna insert the dragons. Uh, pop this king. Pop the queen. Here goes dragons. Warden. So we got a CC pull over to my queen. Rage. Nice rage. Beautiful. Queen's gonna go down. She's not gonna make it much further, but that's alright. So uh, get ready for ward ability. And get ready for another rage as we get pushed back into the inferno. But well, we're going over to the left a little bit here. So let's uh, rage here and let's send in the uh, bats. Let's send a slammer up in here. A couple balloons to go support it. Get the size going down. Ready for freezes. Good. Good, good, good. One more. We need another one. We're going to go over here. All right. Now some cleanup troops. We lost all the bats, but that's all right. We got a minute here to clean it up here. I got minions all over. I got dragons. I got, what, three, four dragons still alive. And the balloons will go into clean up here in just a second. 
So hopefully we have enough on cleanup. Uh, I want those balloons hopefully to go to the left. If they go left, then we should be pretty good on time. A couple archers working over there, but they're not going to make it too much further after they hit that storage. All right, balloons are going left. Perfect. Perfect. That's a three star. And pretty easy. They didn't go exactly as planned. The dragon split off more towards the core. I thought the sleeper would push him back to the inferno, but the slammer did its job there. Went in, took out the inferno, and uh, 30 seconds to spare. Got ourselves a three star, baby. All right. Whew. I like it. I like it. Love me some drag bat. Love me some drag bat. All right, guys, here's the base that I'm going to be attacking with the drag bat. So when I go to do a drag bat, one of the first things I look at is the sweeper positions. And then we're going to go through all the splash damage and make sure I have it all accounted for. So when I send in my bats, I'm going to make sure that I can have full value of those bats. And hopefully they'll survive all the way to the end and go into cleanup. So first we look at the sweepers. Sweeper is facing here and here. So whenever possible, we want to avoid the sweeper ranges with our dragons and charge in somewhere that we're not going to have to fight them at all. If we do have to fight a sweeper, make sure you find it directly head on. If you're fighting a sweeper at a weird angle, then it can knock your dragons into weird positions and potentially push them out into the trash. So be very careful with those sweeper positions if you're going to fight one. So I see that no sweepers are facing this way. So I'm going to charge the dragons right in here. Go after this inferno. Go after that eagle early and get some uh, wizard towers while I'm in there then once we're into the core of the base here then we will have some rages I'm going to be fighting an air defense on the entry here this one and this one so I'm thinking this top one I will send the stone slammer to go in and snipe it off there then it can rejoin with the group and then I will send in a hound for this other one right here so I'll send the hound in right here and it can tank that one on the approach there it's going to be limited on how long it'll survive there so I want to be careful because I'm going to have the queen beating on it I'm going to have all these uh well not that expo that's a ground expo but I'm going to have all these other expos beating on it so it's not going to last terribly long so it's going to pop and I want to make sure that my dragons are going to be able to catch up with it and get in there. So I want to release it right before the dragons are going to go into its range so that I can get as much value out of it as possible. So I need a rage. I'm going to rage right here on the approach to that air defense so that I can speed those dragons along as soon as that hound is taking damage and then once we're into the core here there's a lot of expos there's a uh, air defense down here there's the queen there's a lot of damage here i need these dragons moving quickly so we're going to bring two rages because of that is if the damage was a little bit thinner in the core there then i would opt to not bring that second rage and i'd bring more freezes for the bats so now we have the dragon's ivy down we need to funnel it so i have a hound in the cc and I want to make sure that my funneling troops there don't pull that CC. And if they do, I want to make sure that I have a plan to deal with it and get the hound out of the way. So my dragons do not get stuck on the hound while they're in the middle of all the craziness going on in the court. So what I want to do is I'm going to have my king come in on the top side here. He can start on this uh, mortar here. And if he starts on the nine o'clock side of it, he'll go to the... Uh, the collector second and because there is a two tile gap right here he will not go the other direction then he can continue along up here and i'll add a couple wizards that'll force him inward to take out this wizard tower but when he takes out that wizard tower he's going to go inside of the cc range so we got to make sure that we have a plan to deal with that cc and i want to make sure that my queen has already been used so that she will not get locked onto a hound and end up popping it so do i want to use my queen on the other side here i'm thinking i'm thinking no because what will be left for splash damage on the base here after the dragons push into the court? Well, we'll have this wizard tower up here. We'll change colors. We'll have this wizard tower up here. We'll have this inferno and potentially this wizard tower right here. This wizard tower down here will probably get taken out by the dragons. Not too worried about that one. So if I can minimize how much splash damage is on the base, then it's going to make it very easy to move my bats through since I'm only going to have three freezes because I need to use two rages for the dragons. So I'm going to send in my queen with just a giant to tank and she's going to charge in here and her job is going to be to remove this wizard tower and some of these archer towers. Then we're going to actually make sure we do that before the king pulls the CC so the queen has a chance to die before she gets locked onto the hound. Then we'll draw the hound out of the way after the king pulls it. We'll just drop an archer over here in the far corner and we will... Uh, 
we'll lure the hand out of the way. That shouldn't be a problem. So now, funnel is solid on that side. We dealt with uh, two more pieces of splash damage. And on the bottom side, we want to uh, funnel this side. So I'm thinking a P.E.K.K.A. would do the trick down here. I I won't pull the CC in anywhere in this area. So not a big deal. I don't have to worry about that. So I want to get the second layer of defenses or buildings down. If I only clear out the outer layer here, it's not going to be enough. I want to punch all the way in and take out these. So, if I drop a P.E.K.K.A., how do I get him to go in? Well, if I drop him on the camp here, he would go to the uh, the collector, and then he would probably go to the next camp. Or he may go in, and then he'd kind of wander... I don't know. Hard to tell right there. But I see right here that if I drop a P.E.K.K.A. on this corner of this, uh, this mine here, he will go to the camp second. And then if I have a wizard while this Archer Tower is being tanked, take out this then that will guarantee that pekka will step inward to the archer tower then to the collector or excuse me the storage i mean and then he'll walk the bottom side of the base here and clear all the trash and make so that my dragons will have a straight shot into the base so now we have a pretty solid funnel and we have all the air defenses accounted for we have almost all the splash damage accounted for and there is so little left on the base there i can take the rest out with a freeze so i'm gonna start my bats right up into uh to purple here we'll do the bats right onto this wizard tower or our uh, inferno i mean and we'll freeze up the inferno and the uh expo together and then we will once the inferno's down we will freeze up the wizard tower and the expo together and that should put us through we should be home free from there so lots of things to think about try to get as much value out of your heroes make sure your funnel is solid and account for the damage that those dragons are going to be taking. And hopefully we can bring in the three stars. So let's go do it. All right, guys. Trips are cooked. We're ready to go. So double check army here. Warden's on air. I got a slammer. CC's good. I think we're ready to go. All right. We're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. All right. So we're going to start it off with a giant and the queen. And the king. And uh, a couple wizards. They're out that top side and collapse into the king here. Let's watch this queen. I want her to go down before we pull the CC. And her ability should carry through that wizard tower. Let's get the P.E.K.K.A. down. Wizard to uh, push it in. All right, so next up is dragons. And I want to start collapsing through the trash outside of the range of most of these defenses. We'll just have that arch tower on the bottom there pinging on us just a little bit. Not going to be a big deal. We have some more on the other archer tower in just a second, and then we'll get ready for the hound and the slammer to go after the air defenses. More dragons. Okay. Okay, for hound, slammer, and warden. Almost forgot my warden. Let's get a rage down. Got my king. Okay, you ready for a warden now? Another rage. Ready, couple. Get these dragons under control here. All right, we need to uh, send bats. So, going now. And we need to freeze this immediately. Okay, we might need another freeze on it. No, bats are going to take it. We're going to freeze the wizard tower next and the expos. Do any more freeze there? I do. All right. All right, all splash damage is down. Dragons are healthy. I, uh... Got the hound that the king pulled going out of the way there. So it's going to lock under the archer in the corner. It's going to go just chill there. And I won't have to deal with it. we got a couple uh, more minions here to send out. So we'll send them in right here at five. Right here. Okay. And just a couple uh, Teslas to deal with. I think I got... Yeah, we got this. We got this. It's going to be a three star. All right, good plan, good plan. All the splash damage was accounted for. Our bats were able to survive. Our dragons stayed through, stayed healthy. Even the slammer survived. I was expecting the slammer to break relatively early, but it plowed right through the air defense. I didn't follow exactly where it passed through the base there, but apparently it did all right. So that's gonna be a three star on the board there for one hive, beautiful. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed those attacks. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Go give the dragon bat a try, and I'll see you in the next one.